Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toasty and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video guys and today we're gonna cover some of the in-game news and yes, we are getting closer and closer to that three-year anniversary meaning that we are getting closer and closer to CG Charlotte and also some new characters that we're gonna talk about today but first, let's go right here the dreaded lost continent the collection of mana that's part of the collabora collaboration with secret of mana right here let's see if we can uh put a little bit more volume so right here you guys can see uh basically the first time that secret of mana came around it came with a king mog event and basically during the king mog you had to fight all these bosses back to back in the levels but i guess now you're gonna fight all of them so let's see what uh, mr kupo has to say to us the mana beast uses strong physical attack magic reflection and paralyzing attack so it's recommended to bring units that can shield against physical attacks and cure paralysis kupo be aware that the mana beast has high defense and spirit dealing damage will be difficult even if the party is buffed and the enemy is debuffed kupo and the mana beast earth's resistance will be reduced and earth elemental will be added to your party's physical attack after healing or support magic is used two turns use this opportunity to do as much damage as possible while you can so there you have it basically i guess uh if you use magic or a uh, healing uh, magic two times or more in two turns well basically the boss is gonna uh lower his earth resistance give earth re earth uh element to your physical attack to your party so you're gonna be able to deal even more damage so that's pretty cool can't wait to see the way this fight goes and basically this is going to be the rewards you're going to be able to get the griffin elm attack 20 defense 36 and chance of evading some physical attacks so that's pretty nice that attack 20 uh pretty pretty good especially if you're a newer player and you don't have those big high stats uh like uh, xeno of the better star and also atoning dragoon cane or the genji elm from uh gilgamesh super tmr Use magic six or more times. Mana beast raid coins, you get 10,000. No limit burst. Two rare summon tickets. And defeat mana beast with magic, you get a 5% Mughal. So that's pretty cool. So if, if you guys have these characters, you're going to be able to use them if you want to during that fight. Randy and Flammy will be really, really good. Prim and Popoy. Uh, I don't know about that. But uh, Randy and Flammy are going to be pretty good in that fight. Then that's really cool also guys the uh steel castle malficia will stay up and basically everything will be you're gonna have a chance to get the level four on every single thing which is a merry uh it's which is amazing and we're getting event exclusive equipment anniversary popper which is a gun attack 80 two-handed weapon uh enables confetti blast deals damage and randomly inflicts poison blind sleep sil uh, silence paralysis confusion disease or stone on all enemies so guys if you have somebody to use in the arena that weapon can actually be really really good it's gonna start on friday the 28th and it goes all the way up to friday the 12th uh on july 12th so that's gonna stay here for a long long time and with that you're gonna be able to get some good good stuff and also you know what if everything is up that's the perfect time to really farm the weapon and make the weapon that you want as strong as possible so guys i recommend you guys do this because that's going to keep you busy and that's really 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 good to make your weapons even stronger than farplane chocobo farplane the chocobo so basically ffb celebrates its third year anniversary by the way why does the farplane reek of chocobo the main story is reaching its climax but for now let's have rain and the others take a short well deserved break this is going to start on the 28th so basically this friday and it's going to go up all the way up to the 19th of july uh i'm pretty sure it's going to be a king mog event pretty pretty sure since uh, you have the currency right here beginner quest like always you get a rare summon tickets uh this one is going to be the jisal seed so that's going to be the currency for the king mog and here's some of the stuff you're going to be able to get the five star select summon ticket obviously is probably the best one you can get but uh, these pieces of equipment are not that bad especially like always if you're newer to the game so the chocobo hood Defense 18, Spirit 25, Boost MP by 10% and Wind Resistance by 20%. So that's actually not that, not that bad. And uh, once you equip this to Chocobo Rain, uh, basically it gets Nullify Sleep and Confusion, which is okay. 
which is okay but it's still pretty good uh chocobo armor attack 10 defense 32 it's a uh, small armor it's not heavy armor boost wind resistance by 50 percent so that's really really strong <coughs> sorry about that and uh basically boost um he gets chocobo teamwork whenever it's equipped to chocobo rain boost mp by 15 percent and fill lb gauge every single turn uh you're gonna be able to buy the chocobo stamina boost hp by five percent and wind resistance by ten percent which they're not that bad it's always useful because you never know if you gotta build up your wind resistance by a little bit of percentage so that's always good uh the golden bomb and the chocobo hunter are going to be the bonus uh, units that you're going to be able to use and basically this is really really cool guys because the bonus units are basically all these characters right now so you have awaken rain pyroglacial last well lotus mage fina uh cg lid nicole jake sakura reagan citra uh Seajard, folka ignacio sid axstar and these are going to be the new character we're going to be talking about in uh maybe one or two minutes but if you have all of that all of that as a seven star all these characters sorry well you're going to get a 200 percent 200 percent bonus i can't talk right now i'm so excited uh which is really really cool so make sure you bring all these characters and even if they're only six star you still get a hundred hundred percent bonus i'm gonna get it i swear i'm gonna get it and obviously you guys will be able to get that special special rainbow ticket so the more you play the event uh the more points you collect and after i think fifteen thousand points you get yourself a five star guaranteed rainbow so that's really really good so that's one thing that's gonna be coming this weekend on friday should i say because it's not yet the weekend then the featured summon this is really really cool so we're going to be able to summon for kimono ayaka and dressy eileen so the way they work uh these characters are actually really really cool uh especially ayaka she's special since uh, she does a lot of spr damage so basically the higher spr is the more uh damage she can deal so basically she deals uh damage based on her spr and dressy eileen uh looking sexy as always uh basically she chains with the uh, absolute mirror of equity and she can all also chain with herself regular self eileen or explorer eileen will pile driver not that anybody's still using uh eileen but uh i do wish they would bring her back they would rework her a little bit but for now dressy eileen is actually pretty good and kimono ayaka they're actually pretty good and they're coming for the three year anniversary let's go over the step up because that step up is amazing 25,000 lapis step one guess what guaranteed rainbow bam right off, right off the bat guaranteed a rainbow step two basically a nine plus two summons you get a four uh, star ticket plus that five star ticket once you get four of them you're able to summon and get a 30 percent chance to get one of the two units right here but on step three you get a guaranteed rainbow eight plus three on step four uh you get uh, guaranteed two gold uh, gold crystals also you get a 10 percent five star chance so basically you get a 10 percent chance to get a five star unit most of the time these are 90 percent chance but uh, you never know you might be lucky and get that 10 percent luck on your side then on step five it's an eight plus three and you're guaranteed either one of eileen or ayaka which is really really cool let's go over their stuff right here super trust master for kimono ayaka uh ayaka's airpiece defense 38 it's a hat spirit 94 enables nature festoon boost mp by 20 percent and fill lb gauge every single turn pretty pretty nice then her trust my uh her trust master ayaka's kimono defense 22 spirit 68 which is really really high boost light resistance by 30 percent enables sacred beast grace boost parameters when setting an esper by 10 percent Feature, featured abilities get a some of them got a global upgrade so dance of gentle moonlight restore mp and boost stop resistance for all allies and add light element to own physical attack which is pretty cool then uh, final transcending evan chain frames and hits have been adjusted one use every five turns damage one enemy uh so maybe this one is going to be able to chain with the absolute mirror of equity maybe that's where they're going and dance of the white lotus deal light damage to all enemies pretty pretty cool once we get the full data mine it's going to be a little bit easier to see everything that these characters can do then dressy eileen uh super trust master really really nice the 
Type A sniper rifle, attack 180, two-handed weapon. So that's really, really strong. Our trust master reward, elegant gunner, nullify blind sleep and paralysis, and boost attack by 60% with equipped with a gun. So that's actually really, really nice. Also really nice. Featured abilities. She got some global upgrade love also. Shall we dance? One use every five turns. Gradually boost own attack. Gradually boost damage of certain abilities. And enables triple engineering for four turns. So she's going to be able to triple cast some of her moves for four turns. So that's actually pretty pretty good. Uh, light work. Deal partial unmitigated light damage to one enemy two times. And add light element to own physical attack. Then she gets pile driver shot. Deal partial unmitigated damage two times. And reduce earth resistance for one enemy and uh, the imperil right here if it didn't change from the JP side is gonna be 75% which is still pretty pretty nice then we're gonna go right here <coughs> sorry about that my cold is still there I still have a little bit of a cold uh, summon coin a Yaka and Eileen bundle introducing a new bundle to commemorate the release of kimono Ayaka and dressy Eileen the summon coins bundle includes 20 summon coins uh, which is uh, nice. All right, 27 coins. Is there anything else? They're not really saying much. How much lapis is in there? How many cactuars? How much energy refill? All you know is you're getting 27 coins. We're gonna have to wait and see exactly when this comes out. Then there's the exchange shop. So on the banner, you guys right here, you're going to be able, the more you summon, you're going to get those little coins right here. And the more coins you get, you're going to be able to exchange them in the shop and basically exchange for some stuff that's on uh, the shop for this one. So right here, you can get the prism for Kimono Ayaka, Dressy Eileen. You can get a 50% Mughal, so that's really, really good. You can get a four-star guaranteed ticket. You can get some Kang Metal Minotaur. So that's actually really, really nice. The more you summon, basically, it rewards you with a little bit of things. So that's pretty cool. Then, uh, right here, yeah, that beautiful ticket. So the more you guys are going to be summoning on uh, the step-up banner, you're going to be able to get those little tickets. Once you get four of those tickets, you basically get a 30% chance to summon for uh, Eileen or for uh, Kimono Ayaka. So that's one thing. They've brought up this a couple of times. So that's been in the game for a long, long time now. So still pretty good. Then the story continues right here. Second season, chapter 8, part 2. Really, really good. We're not going to go down because I don't want to do any spoilers to anybody that's not there. That's for sure. And the last thing we're going to get also... Uh, this is going to begin on the 27th, which is basically Thursday. So uh, Thursday morning, you guys will be able to do this right here. Uh, the new foe has appeared. Sworn of the Lich. Right here, a powerful enemy that uses fire, ice, and lightning magic, as well as attack that can inflict, inflict instant KO. I'm having a hard time talking today. So here's some info for you, Koopa, at the end of the turn. The Lich will announce that uh, what attack he will use on the following turn. So determine which attack it will use and prepare as necessary Kupo. So that's really, really cool. The Lich has two instant KO attack, death and kill. And kill first now fire resistance before inflicting instant KO. The Lich will use kill more frequently in the second half of the battle. So prepare multiple methods to uh, multiple, multiple methods of revival Kupo. I'm gonna get it guys. The Lich can inflict silence, so prepare methods to cure silence as well, Koopo. So things you're gonna be able to get right here. Once you complete the quest, you get 100 Lapis. Uh, initial reward complete. So complete the quest, you get... Ooh, that's really, really nice. Complete the quest. Longinus, FFB. Uh, it's a spear. Attack 190. Enables Fae pursue, uh, Purging Spear. Boost physical and magic damage against fairies. Whoa. That's really nice. That's a really, really nice spear to get for uh, for the item ward. Oh, man. Still Castle Malfica right here. That's the perfect timing to get that. So, uh, completion rewards. Deal fire and light damage two times or more to an enemy. You get a 10% Moogle. Yes, please. No items. You get uh, 50 trust coins. Whatever. They're, they're, they're good. They're good. They're good. Not going to say they're not good. It's better than not having anything. And uh, defeat the Lich Party within 30 turns. You get a 5-star select summon ticket. Chamber of the Indignant. Indignant. 
this is where everything is going to be. And I got to say, the boss looks really, really cool. Lich, you look really, really cool. And you should be able to get a beating as well, my man. So, that's it for the news. Well, this one's going to be for maintenance. But for the rest, we're still pretty good. Dressy Eileen. Kimono Ayaka. Three-year anniversary is coming really, really soon. Let me know if you guys are excited for these units. I'm excited for a step up. First step. Guaranteed rainbow, that's gonna be perfect. And guys, this boy right here, after his awakening abilities, uh, this guy is amazing. He can basically, basically chain with uh, absolute mirror of equity. So basically, he chains with everybody right here, except Nicole. But uh, yeah, Squall, you're the man. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave a like down below. Subscribe for more. Sorry for all my words being all weird today. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. It's been a long time since I did the video, but uh, we're gonna be good. And a three year anniversary coming really, really soon. So let me know if you guys are excited down below. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.